In an article written by Patricia Lee from the American College of Pediatrics, she says it is clear that from the time of cell infusion, the embryo consists of elements from both maternal and paternal origin, which function interdependently in a coordinated manner to carry on the function of the development of a human organism. From this definition, the single-celled embryo is not just a cell, but an organism, a living, a living being, a human being. On January 22nd of 2019, New York Governor Andrew Camuno signed into law a new abortion rights bill. The bill adds additional protections for abortion access, such as allowing abortions past 24 weeks. I am pretty active on social media, having at least five different outlets that I use. And when this bill passed, um, all of my news, pe news feeds had been covered with people talking about the new bill. There were people against it, pe people for it, and tons of debates going on over it. I am a registered voter, and just like everyone else, I have my opinions about certain things. But due to personal preference, I typically do not voice them. However, this certain top topic <sighs> touched extremely close to my heart, and I had to share my personal experience. When I was a 19-year-old kid, I found out I was pregnant with my oldest daughter, Grace. To be honest, I thought my life was over. Other than the normal case of morning sickness, my pregnancy seemed to be going pretty normal. About halfway through, the doctors ordered blood work to run some tests, and they said it was standard procedure. In this series, some labs were done to see if certain conditions were present. For example, Down syndrome was one of the resources, or was one of the was one of the conditions that they were testing for. This pregnancy was 12 years ago, so we did not have the resources that are available to us today. And being a first-time mom and still a child myself, basically, I did not really know what questions to ask or what I should be concerned about. My doctor also failed to mention these tests, that these tests were optional. About a week after the blood work was done, I was woke up one morning by my doctor's office they were calling to tell me that the test had come back and it was showing a positive um, for a baby to have Down syndrome. We were asked to come in that day so that they could perform um, an ultrasound. After looking her over and performing different measurements of her bones, they told us that it still seemed as though she would have Down syndrome. The next few weeks were kind of a blur as they ran test after test um, we still had a handful of ultrasounds that had been done. We finally met with a specialist that hit, and we had a 4D ultrasound. Um, and I will never forget the tiny room that they took us into after the ultrasound was over. <clears throat> it had red chairs and a tiny circle little table. I do not know that I have ever felt so cold and clammy in my entire life. Please keep this in mind. In a medical statement pub published um, in Issues in Law of Medicine in spring of 2019, in volume 34, issue 1, from Donna J. Harrison, Ph.D., she mentions the fact that over 85% of OBGYNs in a representative national survey do not perform abortions on their patients, um, and this is glaring evidence that abortion is not an essential part of women's health care. Knowing that, our doctor walked in, as well as a therapist, and told us that our baby was in fact going to have Down syndrome. As I sat there in shock, nothing could have prepared me for what happened next. The therapist just slid a paper in front of me and told me that I had options. Options to terminate my baby because she would not be able to live her life to the fullest. My sweet, innocent baby that did not ask to be conceived and absolutely did not ask to be asked to have an extra chromosome. It was really an out-of-body experience. According to AAPLOG, Practice Bulletin Number 2, Fetal Pain, Issues in Law and Medicine, Volume 33, Number 2, it states that although language and subjective experience of pain is hotly debated, if pain be defined as perception or response to noxious minds, it is clear that fetuses are capable of pain by 22 weeks gestational age, the latest, possibly earlier, as fetuses 
do respond to touch as early as seven and a half to eight weeks. If this is true, how could I possibly inflict pain onto my own child? I got up and ripped the piece of paper that my doctor handed me up and left. For the rest of my pregnancy, every time I would go to an appointment, my doctor would bring this up. Um, even though I asked her to quit bringing it up and some people might not agree with my decisions and that's fine. However, I do not believe in murder. And as far as I'm concerned, that is what abortion is. When Dr. Patricia Lee from the American College of Pediatrics says, predominance of human biological research confirms that human life begins at conception, which is fertilization. So fast forward to being in labor with her. I remember there was a neonatal specialist in the room, as well as a team of nurses ready to take her to the NICU as soon as she was born. After the worst 23 hours of labor, I will never forget the look on all of the doctors and nurses' faces. My baby was here, and she did not have Down syndrome. Not even close. She was perfect. They still decided to check her out just to be sure that there was something that they did not miss. They could not find anything wrong with her at all. I am pro-woman and pro-women's rights. I think that in today's day and age, it's so important for women to stick together and to stand by each other's sides. But more than anything, I am pro-life. I understand that what I am writing about may not be the popular opinion amongst today's generation, but if there is someone out there thinking about abortion due to information that they received about their unborn child, what if the information that you received was wrong? What if that baby comes into this life and changes the world? I know that my little girl, she changed my life and I would give anything up to, I would not, I would not give her up for anything. <sighs>